Hey everybody, Richie Yip here of infighting.ca here in downtown Vancouver. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about probably the most common guard pass uh, that you'll see in, in virtually every single school, every single uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu school, and, and you'll see it in the UFC, you'll see it in tournaments uh, all around the world. We'll talk about the most common guard pass, and then we'll talk about uh, a really cool drill to nullify that guard pass. It starts off with the guard pass itself. Now, we're in Stefan's full guard here, and now we're not going to talk about his ankles being crossed. We're also not going to address the fact that he's attacking me all. These are real problems, but we're just going to get right into the guard pass. I always want to go and check his thigh with my forearm here. As I do that, you see, I'm going to step over with my knee, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach for his neck. As I reach for his neck, I'm going to cross my ankles so that way I don't wind up in his half guard. I'm also going to put lots of pressure through my shoulder uh, into his neck. Now I'm going to make a hinge. I'm going to make a hinge through this elbow, through my knee, and through my feet, and so I just turn it out, and there's the guard pass. To finish up with the guard pass, I'm just going to kneel. Now what Stefan's going to do is that he's going to circle his thigh, circle his leg, so that way he regards right away, so that way I can do this on his left, my right, and then we just go through again. Now I'm stepping through, crossing my ankles, turning, he's regarding, I'm stepping through, crossing my ankles, turning. Great way to go and work this pass. What we're going to do now is we're going to talk about how to nullify it. Now, let's just say that Stefan's passing my guard and he's able to go and get all the way through. So Stefan's coming through, and then you see how he wants my neck, I gotta stop him from checking my neck. He's already come all the way through, he's turned his torso, and then he's pretty much got cross side. I'm gonna turn away, and I'm gonna roll away from him. This is dangerous. Now, look what I'm doing. I'm putting my shoulder onto the mat, the one corner of my shoulder, my legs are extended, my hip is in the air. I'm gonna bump him with my hip, bump, big circle, and I'm just regarding. Now, Stefan's gonna do that, same thing on the other side. So he's coming through, we gotta check. His arm, right? I can't let him take my neck. If he has my neck, I can't turn away. Man, he's passed. He's going to turn away. Drive to my shoulder. Bump my hip up to the sky. Big circle. One more time, please, Stefan. So he's coming through. Check. Turn. Bump. And then circle. And again, check. Turn. Bump on with my hip. And then, and then circle. So this is late in the guard pass sequence, but I still need an answer. He's pretty close to getting a pass on me, uh, but I got to do something. Let's talk about another way to defend against this pass. Stop his passing again. He's coming through. He wants my he wants my neck. I don't give it to him. So I'm checking his arms. Coming through here as he's coming across. I pass this. It's called an elbow push. So I just shove him to the far side. It's my right to his left. Doing this with my hand. I'm sitting up all the way. Shove him away as I regard. He's coming through on this side. Check his bicep like this. He's coming from my neck. Shut up. All the way up. So I push into the floor with my hand as I push into Stefan. Shrimp away. Regard. Stefan. It's coming through. Check. Shove. Sitting up. Again. Here. Check. Shove. Sit up. And then I've just regarded. Now, let's talk about the final way to go and break apart this guard pass. He's sliding through. We're going to do uh, a counter attack. We're on the conception of this pass. It's coming through. Nudge him with your thigh. Check his shoulder. Shrimp away. Note how it almost kind of looks like a scissor sweep, but I'm not using my shin. He's coming across. I'm just going to hit him. All I want to do is put his weight on the mat, not on me. So if Stephen can come through again, can you do it on this side, please, Stephen, just for the sake of the camera? It's going to be three sides. Just hit him. So that way his hands go on the mat. Shove away. Make sure he doesn't put his weight on top of me. And I shove him through. So coming through this way. Hit him. Check his neck. What do I want to check him? Is because, can we do that again on the same side, please, brother? He comes through. Without this, oh, oh, he's just going to hit me, right? Even if, even if I'm able to go, can you put the same knee through? If I'm able to go and nudge him, you see, he can still check my neck. So what I want to try and do is that as soon as I nudge him, I make sure that he can't climb on top of me and put weight, build a frame, trip away and on this side. Here, hit him. See how my forearm comes up, checks his neck, and I'm bracing, and then I'm stripping away. So, great drill to do, helps you with your timing, helps Stefan work on that fundamental guard pass, but then also helps me with my countering of this guard pass.